Welcome to DJM TV. Yes, so my people, good to now. Welcome on our once again to DJM TV. My people, hey, hey. insecurity for Ninja, eh? Not be new, say, get, say, insecurity that the order of the day for inside Ninja. Right now, the first lady of Ninja, Oru Tinubu, she don't donate 500 million to victims of insecurity. For plateau state. Oh, now what I talk. I said 500 million. That's half a billion that she give to the victims of insecurity for plateau state. I beg, I wonder whether this money na audio money a be na real money. Because this money is big. For her position as first lady, ha, 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 where she foresee this kind of money. My people. No, no, bless her, I just they talk. I will play on the video. Wish for donate this morning. Look on our watch and make one not forget to like and share. Watch this video. Support from within and outside the country has continued to reach the many victims of persistent violent attacks in Plato State. The first lady and wife of the president of Nigeria, Remy Tinubu, has also joined the list of personalities that have shown concern for the victims displaced by the invasions. She pays a visit to the state to see and hear for herself the predicament the victims have found themselves. A large crowd of Renewed Hope initiative supporters within and outside Plato State are seated at this hall to welcome and hear the message from the First Lady. After taking time to commiserate with the victims and the state government over the situation, the First Lady announces a donation of 500 million naira as her support to 500 of the displaced victims. In times like this, it is not enough to simply offer sympathy and condolences. We must take concrete actions to alleviate the sufferings of those affected. And this is why we are here today, not only to sympathize with you, but to offer a modest support. The administration of President Bola Tinubu GCFR is committed to pursuing dialogue and reconciliation among Nigerians that will foster lasting peace, not only in the two states, but across the entire nation. The state governor on his part thanks the wife of the president for coming to the aid of the displaced victims and assures that the money donated will go a long way in giving relief to the targeted persons. And I'd like to say that we are quite fortunate on the plateau that Her Excellency chose Plateau State, a state controlled not by an APC government but a, an opposition party. <laughs> Tells a wonderful story that after politicking, we must face governance. I want to put on record that I was privileged to be among the first governors to also have audience with her best, with her excellence. The First Lady pledges to continue to support the victims to return to their normal lifestyle. DJ. DJ. DJ.